Morning guys and welcome back once again to I Like Watches. As you can see in front of me, I have a couple of Boltony watches. These are brand new releases and given there's a big AliExpress sale fast approaching, I thought I'd better post a video showing you these two watches now. If you're not familiar with Boltony, they are a fantastic AliExpress brand producing some of the best military and vintage inspired watches at very affordable prices. And as you can see on the left, we've got a field watch. And on the right, we've got a military-inspired A11 homage watch. I've got a lot to get through, so um, yeah, better crack on. Now, I've decided to start by showing you this rather attractive field watch. Look at this thing, absolutely gorgeous. Contrasting sunburst effect on that blue dial, 39 millimeters in diameter and housing the NH35. There is obviously a date complication there at the three o'clock. I'll put the specifications and the weight in the bottom right hand corner when I pop this thing on my wrist. But yeah, that is a very good looking field watch. 100 meters of water resistance as well. Available in a number of color options and this one has come on a very nice brown leather strap. You can see there it says genuine leather and um, yeah it is branded as well boltony and um, yeah they have also matched the finishing on the buckle to the case which I used to complain about a lot um, about a year ago or so whenever they sent me watches to review um, the hardware on the straps always seemed to have like a matte sort of sand blasted or bead blasted finish um, regardless of the finishing on the case but they have started to match up the hardware on the straps with the finishing on the case on pretty much all their watches, I think, which is nice. Good sized crown as well. Nice crown action. Obviously, it's a hand wind movement beating at 21,600 beats per hour hacking and hand winds. And um, yeah, I've had a little play with it and everything seems to be working very, very nicely. Case finishing is nice as well. Let me zoom in. There we go. We can have a good close look at the dial, the hands and the case finishing, and it all seems to be, yeah, very nicely finished. A lovely satin brushing all over this watch. Obviously, it's a military or field watch, so you don't want any polished surfaces on it. The print on the dial seems to be nicely done. Nice big sword hands contrasting with that fairly dark dial 24 hour numerals as well as your standard 12 hour numerals and five minute markers as well around the outside so lots going on on this dial but um doesn't detract from the way this thing looks it is a good looking watch screw down case back and a screw down crown giving it to the 100 meters that i've already mentioned um yeah it's nice isn't it Lovely piece of crystal on this watch as well, which I wasn't expecting given this watch is around $160 at the moment. Fingers crossed it will be even cheaper during the big sale at the end of August. But yeah, this is a piece of double domed sapphire crystal. At a first glance, when I picked it up, I thought it was flat crystal, but it isn't. The domage is quite subtle, but it is there. And the clarity through to the dial is fantastic at a tight angle, so you know it is double domed sapphire crystal. Very nice. Right, um, I'm going to test the loom at the end. I'll do both watches at the same time. I'll do the five minute loom degradation test. So um, yeah, let's just get it on the wrist and then we can have a look at the other one. Here it is then on my roughly average sized wrist and the strap was fairly soft and supple straight out the packet. So yeah, it's conforming to my wrist um, pretty nicely actually. Good size, 39 millimeters in diameter, the rest of the dimensions and the weight in the bottom right hand corner there look and um, actually I do like the sunburst dial I'm not normally a fan of sunburst dials on sort of dive watches tool watches and military watches but it's a very dark sort of navy blue it's not too obvious and um, yeah it's definitely a good looking watch and here's the second watch. It is clearly a military-inspired A11 homage watch. And if we have a look at the back, we've got some details on the case back, a beautifully brushed case back, Army watch type A11. And Boltony at the bottom there. Um, same strap on this one, actually. And um, one thing I really, really like about this brand is they always seem to find the correct movements and by that I mean inside this watch we have the NH38 because it is essentially the same movement as that but without the date complication and as you can see on the dial there's no date complication so that means no ghost position on the crown. Woohoo! 
It's slightly smaller, this one at 37 millimeters in diameter, weighs seven grams less than that one. That was 77 grams. This one is 70 grams, and there's a lot more polishing on this watch. So it's a slightly dressier watch. It's got that beautiful texture on the bezel and a piece of boxed sapphire crystal, double domed. Again, there's a bit of domage to it. It's quite subtle, but it's there fantastic clarity through to the dial again i'll compare the loom on these two watches at the end of the video so make sure you stick around um the polished surfaces let me zoom in well they seem to be yeah very nicely done nice and bright i'm not seeing any streaking on that side nor am i seeing it on that side um so yeah as we've come to expect from boltony a beautifully finished case and look at that coin edge as well that seems to be nicely done. Now, interestingly enough, um, the A11 isn't a brand or a name. It's actually, um, well, it relates to a set of specifications that um, watch companies had to abide by if they wanted um, their watches to be considered by the military. And um, yeah, that's what the A11 stands for. What those specifications are, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure it's online somewhere. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've listed them out in a video in the past, but um yeah, I don't think this watch is going to comply, um, given just how shiny and blingy it is. It's um, a sort of dressier A11 homage, isn't it? And um, yeah, those hands on that dial. Not the most legible, but still um, a good looking watch. And here's this watch then on my roughly average sized wrist. You can tell it's a little bit smaller than the other one. Definitely not as legible. I don't think it's um, as good looking as the other one. I do prefer the other one actually, but still um, they've executed this one very, very nicely. And I'm missing a little retainer look. Um, I've had a look through all my stuff and I can't see it. So I don't know what happened to that. But anyway, um, yeah, here it is on my wrist. Very nice. Right, let's do a quick loom test and um, I'll wrap it up. Well, right now, as I film this video, the Boltony Watch's official store is having a little mini pre-sale sale. They're offering the Field Watch um, discounted to 159 US dollars. Um, the A11 Homage is slightly more expensive, which I'm not surprised about um, the finishing on the case and the fact that it houses the NH38, which is a little bit more expensive than the NH35 means. They're asking for 175 dollars for this watch and those of you that know Boltony watches know um, the quality and well the standards that they offer and the variety as well they offer a lot of watches like this now and they really have established themselves as a fantastic AliExpress brand they're available away from AliExpress as well but um, yeah good value for money for these watches if you like your vintage inspired military and field watches and retro inspired watches um, you can't ignore this brand and um, they're doing a cracking job now if I was being forced to pick between these two watches well it wouldn't take much forcing at all to be honest um, it's the watch on the left this is definitely the watch I prefer a beautifully proportioned and well finished field watch um, love this dial um, yeah, it's a cracking looking watch isn't it Hmm, yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments section which one you prefer. And as always, a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, big AliExpress sale is fast approaching. Links in the video description.